The general public has literally no idea what pure mathematics is. I mean, zero. And in my opinion, that's a problem. Because not only pure mathematics itself ends up being super misunderstood and unappreciated, but the people who study it are looked at as weird, when they're actually some of the smartest and most intelligent people out there. I'm Sophia. Like most girls, I specialize in humanities. I grew up attending art classes, reading classical literature, and even ended up graduating in history. Let's just say that I definitely had no idea what it means for someone to study mathematics for fun. My idea of it was something most people have in mind. It's the algebra course or the calculus course I took in high school. So why would anyone want to sit around and solve equations for fun? Then I met Luca in 2017, who was doing his bachelor's in physics at the time. And when I found that out, I remember asking what I thought was a really interesting question, but now I realize was probably the dumbest thing I could have asked. When you walk on the street, do you like see everything in equations? Like when you see birds flying, all you think about is how their motion is described mathematically, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, stupid. But I'm pretty sure you've had someone at some point say something similar to you. Like, oh yes, I hated pre-calc in high school. Or when you're watching a movie and some sort of mad genius comes on and people ask you, can you understand what he's writing? Or something like, why do you even like mathematics? It's so boring. Or why would I want to be good at math when I have a calculator on my phone? I don't know, but probably you've had your fair share of questions from completely ignorant people, even our relatives. When they ask us about how our YouTube channel is going, they ask things like, ah, now is summertime, so probably no one's watching math videos now because everybody's out of school, right? Or now, during Christmas break, Everyone says, ah, okay, so probably no one's watching math videos because they don't have exams, they already passed them. So they want to just enjoy their Christmas break and they don't want to watch math videos. This obviously makes no sense. Math is just fun for people, but lay people don't understand that. They don't understand how incredible the world of mathematics is. And I, of course, used to be just like them. But then over time, as I was talking to Luca more and more, and then he ended up doing his master's degree in pure mathematics, then he shared some very interesting ideas with me, what he was learning, and then eventually we actually started this YouTube channel, is when I started catching on in understanding that I myself have completely changed over the last few years. It occurred to me that I used to enjoy reading books about literature, about art history, about different historical periods, about ancient societies, and now these things are just so boring to me. I still read philosophy sometimes, but when I see the art books and the history books that are still on my shelf that I haven't gotten to yet, I don't really want to open them up. These topics now seem so superficial to me compared to the huge and infinite world of mathematics that are just fundamental to the universe. Mathematics is literally the basis of everything. And fine, of course, I look at it more from the lens of applied math or even physics, because it's really hard for me to grasp the abstraction of pure mathematics. But even this little part of the field that I kind of understand is just so incredible to me. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that humanities fields aren't important. I'm not saying that at all, and of course they are. But they're important for humanity for society, they're important for how we live our lives. And let's face it, most people do enjoy it a lot, it's an easier field to grasp. Now mathematics, that field, is extremely misunderstood by the general public. And I'm here to tell you why. And it's a pity to me that humanities fields are so understood and so well known and talked about, and mathematics is not, is just looked as, as weird. If you enjoy our videos and want to support our work, please consider becoming a member of the channel. I like the thought experiment that I first heard from Richard Dawkins, that if aliens ever came to visit us, the only thing we're sure that we would have in common with them would be math and physics. Yes, they would use different notation and symbols, but the logic would fundamentally be the same. Languages, art, history, psychology, all of these things are important, but they're not universally fundamental. They're just a study of the human species. That's all they are. And of course, we need them to operate as a society. They are crucial, so I'm not trying to belittle anyone here. But let's face it, there is nothing more fundamental than math. And because of that, everything else is just kind of secondary, on a grand scale. 
And that's exactly what makes me so sad, because the most fundamental subject in the entire universe is so misunderstood by the general public. And this doesn't only mean constant stupid and ignorant questions, it also means a lack of opportunities for mathematicians and lack of appreciation for what they do. It means that though every single field could use mathematics, they don't, because all they think you do is add, multiply and subtract stuff in a really complicated manner. They don't understand the genius of critical thinking that you have to put in to solve a problem. They don't see the amount of patience you've been able to develop. And they don't understand the amount of abstraction that you have to deal with and make tangible. I am, of course, just scratching the surface here. And I do want to highlight that I am no mathematician. I am a complete layperson, but one who learned to appreciate what you guys do. And I wish that more people could think like that. I think part of it comes from the fact that pure mathematics is so abstract that it's completely inaccessible to the general population. If anyone ever tried to pick up a math book, they would flip through a few pages and set it right back down with the thought of, hmm, this must be useful to make a bridge or something. Which is why I so appreciate YouTube math channels, because even though you won't become a mathematician by watching YouTube videos, they will give you a glimpse of what an incredible field this is. Anyway, this was all just my experience and opinion. So if you disagree with something, just know that my intention is to say that a lot more people should appreciate what you guys do. So I hope you take this as a big fat compliment. But at the same time, you should also not fall into the trap of becoming arrogant just because of your mathematical abilities. If you want to know how advanced math makes people arrogant, check out this video on the channel. See you guys there.